In FeatureCam 2014 R3, you can now quickly mirror an entire part or project using a new add-in. This add-in supports milling parts with multiple setups, including 2.5D, 3D and 3 plus 2 axis configurations, though at present it will not allow mirroring of turning or 4 axis positioning documents. This example mirrors a 3D part. In the case of this component, if I go to the part view, you can see you've got this mold tool. And we've got a setup with two separate features. And inside the two features, you can see we've got a Z level roughing operation that has an initial roughing with a rest machining operation, and then followed by a parallel finish on the split faces. If I play a 3D simulation, we can see the different tool paths. In this case, we have the initial roughing working its way down into the pocket and then we'll see the rest machining and then finally the parallel operation on the split face. So that's our finished component so far. Now what we wish to do is we wish to mirror this now in order to mirror this component we're going to use the new add-in. So to load the add-in if we go to the browser area you'll see there is a folder icon and I can open this and actually copy this location and this location once pasted into the add-ins area will allow me to load this add-in. So I now go to my options, add-ins, browse, paste it in here and then hit return and that should open this folder. You can see I've already done this. Let's load in the add-in, the reflect all setups. Say OK. Once we say OK again, you'll get a new utilities toolbar with one icon called reflect all. If I go over to the part view, you can see here we've got one setup and the two different operations. If I go and click on the reflect all, you can see you've got several choices. I can either move or copy. I can also choose either a YZ, XZ or XY plane or alternatively I can use a line and one of the axes. In this case I'm going to use the XZ plane. I'm also going to choose to copy all of the features as I wish to keep my original features in the original setup. Say OK. This then runs through the sequence of copying the items, mirroring them across and then regenerating my features. If I choose to show all, I can see the copied features on the other side of the component. In this case I'm going to hide everything in setup 1. I'm going to hide the two features on this side. I'm also going to hide the solid, the original solid, like so. So we can see the mirrored component I'm now going to resize my stock and then recalculate my toolpaths. I'm going to do this by running the simulation on the second setup. You get the calculation of the roughing, the rest machining, and then finally the parallel operation on the split faces. So there's my initial roughing operation working its way down into the pocket. Then get my rest machining. And then finally parallel operation on those split faces to complete the component.